Yo, what's poppin' in this video? I'm gonna show you how to be more charismatic right now. Well, we're gonna jump right into it. The first thing you need to keep in mind is to have more energy. It doesn't mean to be the loudest person in the room and to scream all the time, no. It means you need to aim to be the light in people's day. Compliment others, try to inject them with positive energy. You need to shift your focus from you onto those around you. Basically, your agenda is to make those around you feel good about themselves. How? How do you do this? One thing I like to do is I like to greet people in an authentic and genuine way when I see them. If I walk into the office in the morning or I see a friend of mine or see someone I know, I'm always trying to compliment them. I'm always like, yo, I'm digging the outfit. Killing the game. Yo, yo, your shoes are popping. Yo, you are one of the coolest people I know in life. And legit, if I say something like that, I actually mean it. I'm not saying things I don't mean. If I really feel that way about somebody, like, yo, I think you're so cool, I'ma tell them. I think you are really cool. So remember, being charismatic does not mean being the loudest person in the room or being the center of attention or taking over every single conversation. Here are additional ways that you can be more charismatic. Number one, listen. Listen, yo, this is probably a very common <laughs> piece of advice that people say, but it's so it's so real, it's, it's true. All these people are right. You got to listen. And when you listen, like sit there and don't be thinking about, you know, what you're gonna say or what, what you care about, talk about right after they finish, no. You sit there and just take in everything they're saying. People love to feel heard. Don't you hate when you're in a conversation with somebody or someone asks you a question and you know the only reason they asked you is so that they can talk? Hey Josh, how's it going? How's your day? Oh, what's up, Nick? Yeah, my day was... Yeah, so the other day I went skiing and it was crazy because there was so much snow, as we like to call it, <laughs> powder. You know, so much powder, we we're shredding. Shred season. Okay. I see. I see what this is. Okay. Cool. Another huge tip, be relatable. People love those who are similar to them. It's just how nature and biology and stuff works when you feel like you're part of the same tribe. So when you're talking to somebody, if there's any way you can relate what you're saying to them in their life, to make it a little bit more personal to them, they're gonna cling to you, they're gonna like you, they're gonna, they're gonna wanna be around you more often, they're gonna really enjoy that conversation. You don't need to stress about going overboard with this, you don't gotta try to bring up aspects of other people's lives all the time, but you know, if you know somebody is really into basketball, you know, try to bring up basketball at some degree if you have any knowledge or interest in basketball when you're talking with them. The comment section down below, let me know who is the most charismatic person you know. Thank you for watching the video. Oh, uh, uh, click over here, click, click over here, click over here, click, click over here, click, 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 like a lonely front, click over here. How to be single, woo! You're recently single, you've been single, you're trying to find out how to be happier, how to live your life, and how to get the best out of it, because being single